Meantime, in Iraq, anti-ISIS Iraqi forces are making a desperate plea to U.S.-led forces. Yeah, they want more weapons and more coalition airstrikes. Our Jamana Karadze has the latest from Baghdad, and we have to give you a warning here that her report begins with some very graphic images. Body after body lines a street in this western Iraqi town. The killings, a chilling message from ISIS. Fight us, and this will be your fate. The men are believed to be from the Al-Bunima tribe, one of the few defiant Sunni Arab tribes in Arbar province. For months, they fought back ISIS, standing their ground in the town of Heat, until they were outgunned in October. We ran out of ammunition, and we had to withdraw our forces who were defending the tribe. We were presented to ISIS as a gift on a golden platter, says Sheikh Naim Ligoud, one of the tribe's leaders. He says without support, they've paid a heavy price. 700 killed, many executed, just this year. In 2006, al bunimer was part of the awakening movement. Sunni tribes recruited and paid by the U.S. military to fight al-Qaeda, which turned the tide in that war. After the U.S. military pulled out in 2011, the tribes were neglected and marginalized by the Shia-led government, driving many to join ISIS. The revival of a Sunni tribal force is a key part of the U.S.'s current strategy to defeat ISIS. But so far, tribes like al bunimer say there's been no sign of direct help from the United States, and the new Iraqi government has yet to make good on promises to arm them. Coalition airstrikes have not been effective, al Ghoud says. ISIS is still powerful and capable. Iraqi military and tribal forces have struggled to stop the extremist group's unrelenting assault to take the little that remains of the country's largest province, including its capital, Ramadi. We ration the ammunition we have, and ISIS bombard us with tens of thousands of rounds. ISIS support their people, he tells us. They have a supply line from Raqqa in Syria to Anbar. If Anbar falls to ISIS, the militants will tighten their grip on the vast territory they control, stretching from the Turkish border through Syria all the way to the western outskirts of Baghdad. To shift the balance, al Ghoud says, they need weapons and more airstrikes, and they need them fast. People will be killed in cold blood, and there will be more massacres. We're getting killed because of our friendship with the Americans. Does a friend abandon a friend like this, he asks. For now, al Ghoud prepares his men for their next battle. How long al Bunimr's flag will fly high over this patch of Anbar will depend on the country he calls a friend. Jamal Karache, CNN, Baghdad.